Right, so this is going to be my guide for Gunner. Now, Gunner is a very simple class. Um, he has a team-wide damage boost on Overclock, and he has a frag grenade, and his passive is a 20% damage bonus uh, that he stacks up on hits. So, the real question I ask myself is, what, what does Gunner bring to the team? Well, his Overclock is a big team damage source, but it's not really that good out of the gate because the other players don't get that bonus reload speed. So the first thing I always want to take, and often the only thing I want to take, is quick load interlink. The reason I don't take anything else, like extended duration, is because it already lasts long enough for you to kill any elites that you want to. So you can absolutely nuke anything at so long as you have quick load and everyone else can shoot at it. For the grenade, the grenade damage isn't that good out of the gate, so you could increase it with damage, but I think for insane, it's way better off being used as a CC tool. So disorientating blast, knocking everything down, this thing gives you time to get your damage on target, and the damage that you get from your guns, especially when combined with overclock, is going to be far more than whatever damage you can throw on the grenade. Likewise, you can then pair that with remote detonator or mini grenades, and you can multiply the amount of knockdowns you can apply. After that, again, we're looking at more damage for the team with uh, focus fire, so 10% damage bonus on max stacks. This is just really, it, it synergizes with everything. You overclock, start shooting something, your whole team shoots faster and does 10% more damage. This is a no-brainer. Likewise, Overwhelming Fire is a stun after you hit the target um, five times. Great with shotguns, it makes them an instant stun, and that is just good versus everything. You can use it versus prowlers to stop them from jumping you. It's great with your assault rifle versus runners at range as they can stagger or they'll get stunned on the wall, and then you can headshot them very easily. And then finally, suppressing fire, another form of CC, we have a slow. This is, again, great versus everything. Slows are pretty underrated, in my opinion. Even though it's only 25%, this will stack with all other slows. There are diminishing returns, but you'll you'll always notice extra slows going on targets. They're, they're very useful. And after that, just with what we have here, we're kind of done. This Everything we want Gunner to do, or that he can do, we kind of achieve with just this. Overclock with just quick load interlink is enough to delete specials. The grenade giving us multiple knockdowns is all the CC we could need. We could take the, the mini grenades instead. But really, like, if you, if you want to invest as little as possible, you can go with this. And then you have loads of room here to buff out your weapons. So you could start by buffing your weapons with stopwatch. If you aggressively use overclock, 20% of its unmodified benefits while it's on cooldown is great, especially as it's got a long cooldown. You don't really need to increase it or give it any cooldown reduction because you'll have it up for each spawn wave of specials that come in those big events. So you don't need to reduce its cooldown, so stopwatch is pretty good. Although, if you don't use it much outside of those events, or you tend to hold on to it, you may get more value just out of weapon modifiers. So, from here, before we choose our weapons, the only thing that's really, really good just right out the gate is down and out. Synergizing with all of the CC we have. But before we can really decide what we want to do with the rest of this, we need to pick our, our weapons. We don't have to pick their attachments yet, but just our weapons. So I've been really liking the Astra recently, and I've been really liking the Japer, the 6A, auto shot, uh, SMG shotgun. So how I want to fill this in is, is based on that. So I, I think short controlled bursts is fantastic, along with Let's Rock. This will make our uh, burst rifle, the Astra, a laser beam with 100% accuracy and it will make the Japer very accurate and very easy to control for the first burst. Uh, I'll, I'll just give a quick demonstration. 
So this is the Astra. Like, if you can't absolutely drill heads with that, I don't know what to say. And then I'll show you with the shotgun too. As long as I tap fire, this thing just absolutely drills a hole. If I hold down the trigger, you'll see it kind of goes a little bit off the rails. But if you just tap fire, this thing is super easy to control. Next, we can look, so we have down and out, we can look at some cooldown reduction for both of our abilities. The other reason I wouldn't put cooldown reduction, uh, what's it called, the quick charge, is because targets acquired would take that place if we wanted to use it. Mobility is great for the movement speed and for keeping our passive damage. And we can also look at mini grenades. If you want to invest more into grenades, I would go with this setup. The mini grenades force, so they do a lot less damage. I think they're about 3,300 on a direct impact. But the shrapnel bleed, I didn't realize this at the time, but the bleed doesn't do quite as much damage as I thought it does, but it's still more than it implies when it says 50%. I've seen blasts that do one th less than 1,200 damage, and then the bleed bleeds them for 900 damage. This basically just makes the bleed very consistent at killing runners. So what this means is you get three grenades, and all three of them have a bleed that can kill runners. So as long as the runner is within its AoE, you get the killing power of the remote detonator, but with three grenades. So it is a much bigger investment you're investing three more tiles but this is still very very strong and then that leaves us enough space to improve one of our weapons so if you like your if you like your uh what's it called your shotgun you can definitely grab some extra accuracy and fire rates like that reload so for shotguns, you obviously want to prioritize accuracy, fire rate, and reload speed. Those are the three stats you want. Maybe weak spot damage as well. But accuracy is a is a must-have. Although we do get it from here, so we could take we could take the Yeah, range and weak point here. If you wanted to take your rifle, I would prioritize rate of fire and weak point. We don't need stability for either of either of them because of short control bursts. Likewise, when we're picking our attachments, because we know we have short control bursts, we don't need to take attachments that give us uh, stability. So we can take attachments that give us more damage. Uh, yeah, so the vent flash hider is just more weak point damage than the slide compensator. The uh, rapid release mag, I like this just because I hold down the trigger until the gun's empty, but the attack mag is also really, really good. Both of these give a big uh, damage over time increase. And then for the sight, again, just the just more weak point damage. I don't think any of these give more damage than the hybrid sight does. And then that's kind of it. That's how I go about most of my builds. This here is we have our quick load, we have our focus, we have our buffs to both weapons, and then I have targets acquired down and out, and then I'm buffing the rifle here. And then this one here, big shotty, this one I'm just putting more perks into the shotgun. You know, I'm, I'm dropping down and out, and uh, targets acquired for just more shotgun stuff. Rifle is the same again, I'm just buffing the hell out of the plasma <laughs> rifle. And then because I'm, I'm not buffing the shotgun, I'm going with the pump, because it's old reliable. Uh, for the queen, movement speed, because movement speed is fantastic for her. And I've also taken stopwatch, because for the queen, once it's just her left, I'm going to be spamming that ability as soon as it's off cooldown. So stopwatch it is going to be getting a lot of value. I don't have to wait and hold the ability that I have to do, in, or that I feel like I have to do in other missions. I can just use it immediately. And then this is just a pre-made cluster nade one I have. So again, it's, it's going to look very similar to all the other builds because I kind of have this core core framework that I'm working within. So hopefully you've found this useful and informative. 
and uh, you have to come back again next time when I do this for demo, which is going to be a bit more interesting than the gunner because he has a couple of different play styles. <laughs>